Hi, welcome to another, another edition of Cooking Time with uh, TJ from Saddle Wave TK. Today we're going to do pulled pork sandwiches in the crock pot. Very simple. All the ingredients you're going to need, two bottles of whatever barbecue sauce you want. I prefer sweet baby rays. Okay, these are large. These, yes, these are, are large. Two, eight, 40 ounces. Yes. So two of those. Yes. Two sliced onions. Just slice them this time, not chunk them. Okay. We got a bone in pork butt this one is six and a half pounds this was actually the smallest one we saw i saw at walmart while shopping for this it doesn't have to be that big though. doesn't have to be that big doesn't have to be boned i just like the bone in because the way with a bone you can always tell it's done the bone will just slide out clean okay the other two things are spice we're gonna need mustard just regular mustard and then on top of that this is your the rub i use this is a McCormick grilled season rub. You can make your own. You may have your own. This is the one we love. We have found we like with most of our barbecuing is this rub right okay. here. Okay. Okay. And our cooking utensil. It's gonna be the crock pot today. Crock pot. First thing, just like Italian beef sandwich. I like onions on the bottom, so we're just gonna pour onions right there. Like you can see, they're they're not cleanly cut. They're just kind of roughly sliced. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move this over by the sink. Okay. This is where we're gonna get a look. We're going to get a little messy right now. I'm about to get a knife too. Get one real quick. So what are we going to be doing in the sink? We're going to be seasoning the rub in here. So we want a clean sink. Yeah, so you want to make sure I just clean my sink out. I also plugged it because what we're going to be doing is first we're going to open this up. And I got to put my lunch lady gloves on. I hate these gloves. But it's there for the long run. We normally have regular gloves, but with everything going on, it's kind of hard to run by. So this is so I get to be lunch lady hands. So first thing, have these been opened? Yes, they've all been opened. First thing, we're gonna cut the wrapper off. Did you tear a glove already? <laughs> yeah, I cut my glove is what I did, but it's fine. All right, before you can season it, it's a little too wet. So you're gonna take some paper towel and we're gonna pat it dry. Like the excess blood? So the excess, well, it's not really blood. There's never blood in me. It's basically water that the muscle retains. That's how meat stays juicy is actually by moisture, by water still being in the meat. So we're just going to make sure to pat down. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry, just enough where we do fine. Now, two reasons why I use mustard. It's A, going to be a binding agent, plus we're going to let this sit for a night, so the vinegar is going to start impacting, the, actually going to start somewhat cooking the meat, therefore making it tender overnight. So it's twofold. It's going to keep our rub on it, plus add a little flavor. You're not, if you're not a fan of mustard, don't worry. Kayla does not is not a mustard fan, but she never tells me she I don't can taste it. taste it. So and this is why I'm wearing gloves right here. If we're gonna get all around it, smack that butt. And if you notice I'm using two hands. I'm using one hand that I'm gonna grab this bottle with, and one hand's gonna keep on getting progressively dirtier as we go. Again. Be liberal. Don't be skippy. I have a, I have a I already have one thing of mustard in the fridge, but I know it's a little low, so I went with this. So what I'm gonna do real quick is change my gloves up. I'm about to do the spices. The reason why I'm changing my gloves up is because I don't want the seat, the rub, to get stuck on the glove. Not a good deal. So now, I noticed one side of this meat had like a fat. Cow. Yes. We keep that? Yes. Well, I, I always keep it because I make it, I have it raw at the bottom because that's going to give, oh, did I put these on backwards? Yes, I did. I, no, whatever. So fat goes on the bottom. Yeah. I always put my fat cap on the bottom. You do what you want. Some people trim it because I'm actually going to drain it before I shred everything because fat is flavor and it's going to help the onions cook too. So I always put, keep the fat cap on. I um, have it on have it on the bottom. So when I put it in here, I'm literally gonna drop it. So we're gonna take the open side. So 
a that lot. <laughs> and, well, you got right. This is all going to cook. A lot of this is going to cook off. We want to cover. If you ever see like uh, shows on Food Network or anything like that, you're going to notice it's going to be caked with this on each side. So we're going to make sure. Get some on here. That smells so good. That, that rub, yeah. Rub. Yeah, this is a good rub. I found it through just through trial and error about five years ago, and I've just been cooking. You're pretty much gonna almost use this whole bottle this by the way, especially so with a piece of meat this big. Let's make sure you get it. Now I look to try to get this a little bit everywhere. So excuse me, we're gonna put this now again. Fat side down. Fat side down. We're going to put this right there, make sure it's tucked, get this ready to be cleaned out. Like, the main reason I did this in the sink is for easy clean. So now what we're going to do, we're going to just take off our glove. I'm going to get a little bit of the mustard off real quick. Use a little antibacterial soap. It's funny how much we know how to wash our hands now in this day and age. All right. We'll so, clean the sink in a minute. <laughs> yes, we will. It's, and it's, we'll come uh, back to that. Yes, we will. Okay, now here's what you do. We're going to drop the lid. This is going to be dinner. This is just going to be like the Italian beef sandwich. We're going to cook this tomorrow. Kayla goes back to school tomorrow, so we want something very, very simple, easy when we get home to do, and this is it. We're going to get to these two degrees will also be part of tomorrow. But, but we'll, at the end. Yeah, that's the last, that's the last thing because tomorrow we're going to cook this on low for about 12 hours because I'll start it, when I get up, I'll throw it in the crock pot on low. It'll cook till I get home. The first thing I'll do before we, before we start shredding or anything is we're going to drain some excess fat. I want to leave a little bit though because you want a little bit to merge with the, merge with the barbecue sauce, but then we're going to, we're going to pull, I'm going to show you how when we pull the bone out, how it just comes out in one piece, no meat on it. We're going to record that process. Yes, we'll record that part. That's a big part. That's how you know it's done. And then we'll get done. So for tonight, we are done. Done for the night. So, so where's I, that about to go? It's going to go where it always goes. The fridge. Okay. Still can't believe six and a half pounds is usually cheap. I usually do about five pounds. If that's about enough where... Because with this, we're going to make sandwiches. We like also like making nachos out of it, too. So in the morning, pull it out low, low about 12 hours. About 12 hours or anybody works at 8 to 5. Until you get home from <laughs> until work. Until you get home from work. This is definitely an easy, like I said, we use two major ingredients. Well, three if you add the onions. Four if you add the <laughs> but So it's basically four ingredients. It took me very, the longest part is just doing what I did in there. It's taking you eight minutes so yeah. far. Very simple. Like I said, we're just going to cook this all day when we get home. We're going to have enough for dinner for the next three or four days. And we're going to be able to use this a couple different ways. So I'm TJ of Sale FTK. We will see y'all tomorrow morning. Hey guys, welcome back to Cook Time Sale FTK. We have our pork butt, which has been cooking for over 12 hours. Well, right at 12 hours. It's 5.59 right now. So let's take a look how she has cooked all day. Oh, exactly how well you can tell the onions are caramelized. You can tell the, where the bones at a little bit by the separation right here. And you can tell all that fat cap on the bottom is gone. So Let me come around so okay. I can see the bone. I haven't pulled out yet. I want to pull it out, but it's about right there. See how it's kind of Wait. Oh, I see. Yeah, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to drain some of this excess fat off. So, I'm going to hit my water over here. So this is the one? No, never gonna get that. No, that's not the bone. It's back there. Let me see it. So first, we're gonna grab her. Ever so good. Try not to lose. I'm gonna lose some on you, but. Did you save that piece for anything? You could if you want to, but I'm not really gonna do it. I don't like a stock. Pretty much, but it's more like um, it's basically just fat, so. You could use it like if you want to make confit or something, like a pork confit with it. This will be the this right here. Okay, we can see the bone right there. So we're gonna bring this back over to the crock pot. Oh, you can see it jiggly. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna get that bone out. And this thing's gonna be hot, so it'll be, it should. 
Should just slide right out. Yeah, it should. Boop. Like I said, clean, no, just some seasoning on, really. So that's the only bone you got where I'm gonna put this in the sink for a second. Let it cool before I put it in the trash. At least I can put these up too. Now what I'm gonna do, get two big old forks. And basically, that's perfect right there. That's exactly what you want. You just want it to tear apart. So we're just gonna tear it. The fat on the bottom is pretty much rare off. There's a little bit left, but you want a little fatness to it. Pork for crap loud. You can tell I'm not I'm barely doing anything with it. Yes, Onyx. I know you smell it. Oh, he's awake. Yes, he is. No, I've torn it for this. Now what we're gonna do is add our sweet baby rays to it. Can you remove the fat? Huh? It's already blended in right now. I mean, it's very little. Well, ain't that a big piece? Uh, Kayla is not a fan of the fat. That's the biggest one I saw. Everything else is rare now. Onyx, please, we're filming. Don't okay. care. Next thing, we're gonna take our sweet baby rays. I'm actually gonna get use one of these forks real quick. Pop this little thingy off. Gonna take two bottles. Probably not these two. Those are big bottles. Yeah, but you gotta remember it's still a little little fatter, so it's gonna dilute a little bit. So we're gonna see how one oh bottle does. Oh Lord, he's over here now. <laughs> you was just sleeping. A little more right there. And we're going to pour the rest of there. Now we're going to blend it. This is where the second bottle comes in because I'm going to see if we have enough or not. Enough. This is a bigger, a bigger pork butt than I usually do. I usually end up using about two. So. like enough to me. Yeah, it looks like it'll be enough because I did leave a little they extra. They were big, but I don't think you usually get these big. Well, they were actually cheaper than the normal size ones. I time. think, look, we have another one. I think this is the normal size he gets and it will be two of these. Yeah, because two of these equals one of those. So, there it is right here with the look at that. That's good. There it is with the barbecue sauce. So we're about to plate. We're gonna fix up some sandwiches and we'll show you what it looks like when it's plated. Yes, we will. Hey guys, and now we're gonna plate our pulled pork. So what we're gonna do is get a nice little helping of pulled pork. Put it on the mayo. Now we use Hawaiian buns for this because they were out there. Now here's the kicker. I like these pickle. These are bread and butter pickled onions from my mom's garden that they made at their house. So I'm just gonna, oh, there's some squash in there too. Huh. I think that's a pickle. It's like a cucumber and. Um, TJ that's, that's doctors what? his up some, I only do meat and bun. It is good with coleslaw. We just didn't make any tonight. Right. Um, so we're probably just yeah. gonna have it with chips. Mm -hmm. This chips up simple, it. and tomorrow we'll probably make um, pulled pork nachos. nachos, which is one of our favorites. Like you can do a lot. I make burritos with this. I mean, it's a good. You can we change can, up every um, night. We can record the nachos tomorrow mm -hmm. when we make it, so they can see a different okay. option. Sounds good. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs>